Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Xander. I am off to Bangkok to start my six to 12 months in Southeast Asia. So I thought I would talk you through what I'm taking with me, what I've prepared for my travels, things you need to think about, etc. I just want to talk about insurance, first of all. So I've gone with a company called Insure and Go. They have insured me on a backpacker's policy for six months, which I can extend at a later date if needs be. I have paid 200 pounds. For that, I also got extra coverage for my gadgets so that all my equipment is covered and also activity insurance. Another thing you should consider is a Monzo card. Monzo cards are just a MasterCard and they are a prepaid card so you top it up with your own bank account but you have an app which works live so anytime you make a purchase it comes through to your phone and they do not charge any card transaction fees for using abroad so you can use it in an ATM, you can use it at tills and it will not charge you a penny and the exchange rate is always pretty good. So I will be taking two backpacks with me. This is my biggest one, it's like a full on backpacker's backpack. And secondly, this one is my kind of day pack. It's got lots of compartments, it's got little bits and bobs to put things so it's just really convenient for stuff. All the clothes that I am taking will be packed in these fabulous packing cubes. They're really really handy for just separating out your clothes and giving you a bit more of a wardrobe. And you really don't need much for Southeast Asia because it's always hot. Everyone who is traveling looks gross. No one really cares. So I've got two pairs of shorts, two pairs of swim shorts and a pair of joggers which I will probably travel in. And then I've got nine pairs of underwear. I do recommend taking a hoodie or just something so you can have long sleeves because if you're traveling on buses and planes sometimes the aircon is turned on really really high and it can get a bit cold. I will travel in my trainers but I will be taking these flip flops with me. Say hi mum. I have said hi. Oh, hi. have you? Okay. In my second packing cube, I have four vests slash tank top and four t-shirts, which I think is more than enough. And just one shirt, like a waterproof, breathable, lightweight jacket, because you do get heavy thunderstorms, um, but it's still really, really hot. So you need to make sure you can stay dry, but not too sweaty. Make sure you take some microfiber towels. Although some hostels do provide towels, a lot of them don't. And microfiber is really good because they dry really quickly and they don't take up much space. Next up we have equipment. So I will be taking my 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, this just about does me with my editing and it's nice and lightweight, so it's not too bulky to travel around with. I've got two of these mini Gorilla Pods. This one has the iPhone attachment, but I've also got one that I'm filming on right now, which is my Canon G7X. A portable <laughs> battery pack. These are a godsend, a padlock, an essential to keep your stuff secure in hostels. I will be taking an extension lead so that you can take just one travel adapter and have four plug sockets, because if you're like me, traveling with laptop, phone, whatever, you need to be able to charge more than one thing at once. This is my 8th man camera, action camera. It's like a GoPro, it's pretty much exactly the same, but it was like 50 quid. There's a little waterproof case that I picked up for an iPhone so that I can um, take my phone in the sea. So make sure you've got all of your charging cables. This is the travelling office. Yeah, this is just really handy to keep all your stuff organised. I'll probably put a spare debit card in there, so I don't want to keep both my debit cards together because if you lose one, then you've always got one to uh, back up on. On my last trip, I did actually lose my debit card and it was a nightmare. And these are first aid kit, including dressings and uh, a pre-travel lecture from one's mother. <laughs> and medication. So I'm very lucky. My mum is an ex-nurse, so she knows how to put a first aid kit together, but if you don't, um, you can just pick up pre-made ones from Boots or Poundland or wherever. So you can get pretty much all the same pills as you can here in the UK, but sometimes when you're travelling or you're feeling unwell, you don't want to make that trip to the pharmacy. I've got some loperamide, which is anti-diarrhea, because guaranteed in Southeast Asia, at least once you will have the shits. Also in your first aid kit, it is essential to take a dashand. These guys will give you all the tender loving care that you need as and when is necessary so make sure to double up on doses if you're feeling particularly homesick. I've got an assortment of painkillers, ibuprofen, paracetamol and some cold and flu medicine because you never know. My Leatherman multi-tool. I use this all the time in the UK for various bits and bobs um, but you never know what's going to come in handy when you're out there. This yonder tote bag will serve as a laundry bag. In my toiletries bag, mostly I'm not taking too much because I know you can get everything out there but I've taken some little bits and bobs just so so I don't have to go shopping as soon as I get there. Deodorant, sun cream, shower gel, moisturiser, shaving stuff, shaver and razor. It's boring boy stuff basically. And then some nail care stuff. 
Also, if you're like me and you've got a couple of piercings, I would recommend just taking some spare earrings or spare nose rings or whatever in case you can't find them when they're out there and maybe they fall out and you need them. And finally, just for the plane, an eye mask and an inflatable neck pillow just to keep you comfortable on those long haul flights. So guys, that is it, my complete packing list. The next time you see me, I will be in Southeast Asia. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also find me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That wasn't planned at all. I will leave full details of everything that I'm packing in the description box below. I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Who's a little baby? <laughs>